Hello guys, this is Sharon this again and welcome to this video and today we're going to talk about the WebP Studio controller which is basically the brain, the application that you install to connect to Unreal Engine so let's talk about it you can have this application installed on the same computer as, Unreal, as the one that you run on Unreal Engine or you can have it in another computer but you know the computer must be in the same network because you need to connect the Unreal Engine director in the settings. Now, if you go to your director in your details, and go here where it says server URL, it should be the URL provided by KVP. So this is basically to connect it. Now in this controller, I wanted to add some basic function. Uh, as you can see, we got four buttons, which is main panel. If we click, if we click on main panel, it will display this main panel as the name said. From here, we got we got the events at the top, the events that we said. In the bottom, we got the cameras and the talents. So basically, it's dynamic based on what we get. So for example, if I go back to my to my director, I'm gonna add another event, so I'm gonna call it event C. There we go. Um, for now, we need to hit play to you know to refresh this. I'm gonna use Alt P. So as you see, we got now the event C. So I'm running the event zero, one, and two. So this is basically what I what I quickly said to show you. Now the the thing is that in the in the Main, main panel, you are able to customize these buttons. I mean, you're able to re to arrange it. But also you got here in this drop down, we got this color label where we can use to color the labels. Now, I'm seeing the events here, but if I run my events from here, from these buttons, as you can see, we don't get this, you know, this down arrow, we don't get it here. This is basically meant to, you know, for, for triggering only. So if you have a touch screen, you will not you know, click on that by mistake. So, or so on. So basically, yeah, we, you can actually rearrange. Rearrange is independent, but the coloring is attached to what we do. So as you can see, and everything runs in real time. So if I click here, the event C, you see that we get a feedback here. So telling me that I triggered this event. It also runs in all the instances. So for example, if you open the quick the this URL in the browser. So let me just copy that. You can just select it and copy that. Or now we got this button. Just click on there and it will copy. And also you can just click here in this screen and it will auto launch the browser with the window. So as you can see it now that we got this. So for example, let me just move this one here. There you go. If I click in the yellow, you see that I get feedback on all the instances telling me that I just triggered this event. Same if I change the color. So, but again, the arrangement is based on where it is. So same for the cameras. So we are able to arrange these cameras in different workspaces. And if we go here to our QVP Studio main window, we can open the camera. Again, as you can see, the difference from here in the main panel and here is that we don't get this clean. I'm going to show you later what is this for, but basically, and also this is more responsive. So when you are in the mobile device, for example, or in a touch screen, so this is just for triggering. As you can see, everything is dynamic, so everything is real time. As you can see, I got the, the screen. The, I'm sorry, the camera switching. And also we got the same for talent. So we can turn on and off the talent. We got this talent small box as well. Again, you can see it, it's a little dynamic. And yes. Okay, now, for example, if you wanna trigger, if you wanna open a browser window with the main panel, you can just click here as we did, and you know that we it, it opened the 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 window now what if i want to open the events only you can just right click 
right click on one of these and you will get now the URL for the event. So if I now click here, I can copy the URL as you can see it's panel events or I can just click here and it, tr it trigger my events window as you can see in a new browser. This is just because <laughs> this is if you want to send the link, share the URL to someone else to open it in another device in the same network and so on. But if you want to open it, you just use this. Now if I right click on camera and then click here, I get my cameras. Same for talent. Right click and then I click here. I got my talents. So I can also have my main panel back. Right click on there and then click here. And I got my main panel where I can customize labeling. Okay, also in the main panel, we can customize the data. So you can see the event B has some, you know, data. So it's asking me for data. I can customize the data that I'm going to send, for example. There's data. I'm not doing any anything with it, just to show you. So in the also here, main panel, we can duplicate the, you know, the database event. So I got now a copy. I'm going to name it cop event to event b2 and test data 2 and I can have as many copy of the same bomb with the different data as we saw earlier so also we can you know color it and you see that the this type of bombs with the, the with the data they have like a you know small gradient so you can identify that this is a bomb that has no custom text data. For now, we we are able to share only text data with Unreal Engine and Google P. I'm actually working, you know, <laughs> to get more things like images, you know, colors and all the stuff. I'll work on that. So yeah, and cool. Now you see this small, you know, chain icon. This is for copy the URL to that event. That means that I can trigger the event directly from a web browser. So, for example, I'm going to click here in this small chain icon, as you can see it. And now I'm going to open a new window here. And I'm going to paste that URL. As you can see, I got that URL. And if I hit enter, you see it triggered. It actually didn't trigger because I, I'm sorry, I opened it from the web browser. And this is just a post request. But this is mostly to be used with the, with the software like companion you know to trigger from stream deck or central control that will help you know use those you know those tricaster consoles so for example here i got my focus companion right in connections from just delete it it's just you know, quickly created i'm gonna create a new connection right that will be an http generic request i'm gonna add it this will be quickvp PPP and the base URL. I can just copy this chain, right? And then I'm gonna paste it here and I can delete this. And I'm just gonna save it. Now I'm gonna go to my buttons. I'm gonna go to this button, right? And as you can see, this is a regular button and the key will be quick VP post. It should be post. And the URL will be, I just need this, right? From from here, I just need this, the cam and, and the identifier. So now if I go here to my emulator and I trigger this, you see that it triggered that animation, at least triggering as you can see it. So now same for, for this event. So every, you know, every single button that you have, have a single URL. So for example, if I want to trigger this one using this quick VP2 button, I'm gonna go to here to the this button, right? And I'm gonna quick VP, post, and the URL again, just delete from I'm gonna delete the base URL and you know I'm just gonna leave play and the event ID. And now if I go here. As you can see, running event one. As you can see, it runs, you know, totally, it's totally synchronized, so as you can see it. So, for example, I can also chain events. So, for example, I'm gonna copy the URL of this as well. 
So I'm gonna go here, then I'm gonna get another one, PPP post with the single button. I get this. So let me just copy the event C as well. So I'm gonna add another one, PPP post. I'm gonna paste it here. Now I'm gonna copy the event A as well. So PPP post, and I'm gonna paste it here. So now this single button will run the four events at the same time. So let's try this. If I go back to the emulator and click it, you see all the four events. So I can also combine it, for example, with this medium camera angle. I'm gonna add another, you know, another button. PPP pose, URL, cam. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go to my button. And so see. So this is basically how this version of PVP works so far. I hope you like I hope you like it guys and I come total of your support. If you like it please support me on Patreon. You can become a patron so you can get also this cool set and also you can get some more sets that I'll be uploading for my patrons there and also blueprinting some you know more kind of deep videos but also you can check the Gumball page where you can download some projects that I have created and you can play around with them, learn, and even use it for commercial purposes. So, I mean, there's no restriction. So thank you so much, guys, for your attention and see you in the next video.